Joining us now is Glenn Kirshner, former federal prosecutor and an MSNBC legal analyst. He's the host of the Justice Matters podcast. I don't know where to start. I want to, I want to talk about both of these things. Let's talk about this Mar-a-Lago document, first of all. There was speculation, Glenn, in the beginning that the American government sometimes overclassifies things. Who knows what he took? He stuck it in a bunch of boxes. A military document that maybe has to do with a confrontation with Iran? I mean, there are all sorts of national security reasons why that would be a major, major problem. But what's the situation here? There's apparently he's he was caught talking about it, but they say they don't have the document. Yeah, you're not kidding when you say there's a lot here, Ali, to unpack. Um, so, look, Donald Trump, we have all heard him claim that for example, the documents that he took with him when he left the White House, when he left government service, uh, were somehow automatically declassified when he decided to take them. We've also heard him say that he could essentially think them declassified. He could declassify them with his not mind. Well, first of all, automatic declassification and telepathic declassification are not things but now we have Donald Trump reportedly on an audio recording saying, I've got this classified document here and I'd love to share it with you, but I probably can't because it's classified. You know, um, everything you say is admissible in the court of public opinion, Ali, but not all of it is admissible in a court of law. I, you know, people may not appreciate, you know, when people talk about Donald Trump's criminal intent is going to be so difficult to prove. Well, guess what? Prosecutors get to introduce at trial any statement they want that Donald Trump made because under the rule of ev rules of evidence, it's a statement of a party opponent. So they will surgically present incriminating statements. Donald Trump's lawyers are prohibited under the rules of evidence from introducing any of Donald, uh, Donald Trump's out of court statements to prove the truth of the matter asserted. So when we see these statements, conflicting statements mm -hmm. from Donald Trump, prosecutors will exploit them by presenting the jury one statement where Donald Trump said, I declassified everything with my mind or automatically when I took them with me. And then they will immediately follow it up with this audio recording saying, I've got this document here about a potential plan for the U.S. to attack Iran, but it's classified so I can't show it to you. When the jurors can hear those two statements back to back, they will conclude Donald Trump is lying and that will be sharply incriminating right. evidence. About a remarkably important matter. I mean, do a military attack on Iran is not, is not there, are, there are small matters and there are big matters. That would be a big matter. Let's talk about um, Fonnie Willis, Georgia, uh, RICO, uh, statutes and the idea that that the um, that, that this prosecutor in Georgia